Good afternoon, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a review today on the Harmar AL 500 lift for power wheelchairs. Most popular lift in America. Good afternoon, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We're doing a demonstration today on a Harmar AL 500 power lift for power wheelchair. This is not for scooters, this is for power wheelchairs. This is one of the most popular lifts out there in America today. Uh, you'll see a lot of these behind cars. This one here has a this one here has a swing away option. What that means is you pull the pin out, pull the handle out. And you can open the lift up and you can open your tailgate, your hatchback or this minivan here, you can open the back doors. When you swing the lift open like this, as you can see, you want to do that with no scooter, uh, no, I'm sorry, no power chairs on here at all. Because if you do that once too many times, you're not going to be able to shut the lift properly. It's like a pair of scissors. So that's your lift. You can see the motor right here on the lift. You can see the key switch and everything. This lift, folks, has an option swing away. So you don't have to have this part on your lift. If you just have a car, you would not need that. But if you have a minivan, a SUV, any type of where there's a door that opens up or this way, you must have the swing away. It's an option that's available with any of the Harmar lifts. So this lift here is very easy to operate. So I'm going to shut it. It should shut this easy. And then you just put the pin back in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the key on and push the lift down. It's an automatic lift. So So you see how you have a nice tilt platform. When you come back up, you will get it back. When it goes down lower, you will lose that. It'll, go, it'll tip down, but that's normal. So what you do, you want to bring the platform all the way down until this corner right here where my foot is, touches. And you want to stop there because if you keep pushing down, you're going to raise your car. We don't want to raise a car. We just want to put the lift down to the ground right here. Once it's on the ground, make sure your straps are facing outward. And then you can, you can put any wheelchair on here that's got four wheels, six wheels, as long as the wheelchair is not any wider than 26 inches wide. So I'm going to bring a very popular chair. This is called a Jazzy Air 2, six wheels. So you bring the chair on the platform like this. And the platform is universal. It'll fit all power chairs, folks, okay? Now you can tie the chair right away. I like to wait till it's up, but don't forget to do it. When you go up with the lift, you should run your car, okay? It gives more power to your lift, and it just makes it quicker. So we're going up. Now it is going to tip down for a second, then it's going to come back up in a second here. You'll see the tilt now, see it? And now it's going to keep going all the way up. Now this chair already has hooks under the seat. So what you would do, you would, uh, the reason I'm hitting this box, you want that box facing the hook. So uh, if, you get, if you get a lift like that, you want to make sure you loosen it up and get the box facing the hook. So you put your four hooks on the chair like this. And if you think it's too loose, you can always crank it. But you don't want to make it too tight, okay? Because you have four of these all the way around. They don't have to be really tight, okay? Just one crank and you should be good. There we go. You, so you install all four of them all the way around and that is not going anywhere. Now if you put a chair on your lift, you want to make sure the seat is down. You want to make sure the power is off on your joystick and you want to make sure you have a cover. Always make sure you have a cover if you buy one of these lifts from us. And we have a lot of these in stock. This is a used lift, almost new condition. We have a lot of these. You don't want the rain coming off your vehicle. It's going to find its way in your electronics. You want to make sure you have a cover over your chair. You don't have to cover the box, but cover the chair. When you get to your destination, take the cover off, pull all four straps out. And to pull the straps out, you have to push this button here. Like you can see, they go back, they go back in by themselves. Then you will go back to your box right here, turn the key on, push the button down.
You're going to reverse what you did earlier. You're going to bring it until this corner touches. And then you're going to re you're going to take the chair off. I like to go backward when I take my chairs off. Now, the nice thing about this lift right here, when you go back up with no chair, it'll flip. There's a wheel right here and it'll get caught under here and the platform will flip. If the chair was on here, the wheel would go in front of this cam right here where, it's, where you see the oil right there. It would go in front of that. But since there's no weight on the platform, you'll see. Watch it flip. It's in the put away position right now and you can drive down the road. You're about 18 inches from your, from your vehicle when it's flipped like this, okay? 18 inches. I want to show you something else here. So you can see you have the, uh, two keys that come with you. So once the chair is up, nobody can take your lift or your chair. Also, right on top of the lift, there's a little plastic cap. If you don't have it, just put a piece of tape. It doesn't matter if you don't even have a cap on here. It's, this is all water. Even the motor's waterproof. But if you needed to crank it manually, you would turn the key off. And there's a 3 8 with a 3 8 socket, you can crank this lift up and down manually if you ever had an issue. These lifts have been fantastic. They have a, they have a, a life of about 10 to 15 years, okay? So, this lift has a 350-pound lifting capability, so you cannot put a 400-pound chair on here or a 380-pound. Any chair that's 350 pounds or less can go on this lift. They have another lift just like this one, the Harmar AL500 HD available also. The HD would have a welding piece right with my hand like this on both corners to reinforce the platform. That one does have a 400-pound capability. So this is the Harmar AL500 regular weight capability. Uh, you will get a harness with this lift to run from your battery to your car. It comes with the lift. You'll get two keys and you'll get a boat that stops the wobbling on your lift and the boat will stop any movement on your lift while you're driving down the road. So if you would like to get an AL500, which is the most popular lift out there today for wheelchairs, all, all types of wheelchairs, give us a call at Mark's Mobility. We have quite a few of these in stock and we can ship them the next day to you. Within two or three days, you should have it in your driveway. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate watching this video. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.